it's the middle of the night at this point. You've rested. You've you've kept Omar in the. Uh, uh, you 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 fed yourself. You you kept Omar in the the medical his medical wing and everything like that. Uh, Mila, probably as per usual, or I guess Nora. Uh, you no, don't sleep very much. Wait. Oh, sorry. How long has it been? Said? It's probably been about twelve hours. Oh yeah, it's Mila now. Okay, so Mila, Mila, you don't normally sleep very much at night, do you? Nah. Nah. So you, uh, I don't know, while everyone else is sleeping, while they're spending all that time, and I don't know. what I normally do, and Mm -hmm. uh, skip around the behemoth, Mm -hmm. pretending I'm uh, I'm a space explorer. Sweet. Um, Mm -hmm. Maybe a Jedi from time to time, switching between characters, that sort of thing. Okay, all right. Well, as you go past, um, as you skip on past, pretend on past uh, Patrick's workshop area, you hear uh, a clank of like if metal hitting metal, like something heavy fell on the ground behind <gasps> the door. Maybe it's a sath. Maybe. She, it, <laughs> yeah. She, she squeaks over by to the door and pokes her head in. Uh, yeah, uh, you poke your head in and you see Omar there uh, standing in Patrick's workshop, and uh, he does notice you, but he looks wide-eyed at the s- space shuttle that's nearby in that in in the large bay nearby. And he, his eyes are huge; they're the size of saucers. And he looks over to you, and he goes, "What the? How? How'd you find this thing?" Speak not, fair maiden. <laughs> Mila, hang on one what? second. One second. Uh, she ba- she turns around and backflips <laughs> and walks over. He steps up. Do not fear. This is a scary temple, but I will save you from it. Shh, we're pretending. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't. She grabs Mother. him by the arm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at this. Do you see it? She's pointing at the spaceship. Do you uh, see it? Yeah, of course I see it. It's big. This you... is our salvation. Can I call uh-huh. you... Can I call you Emily? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, he hesitates for a moment. Roll me a D100. <laughs> 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 What's your convince? Is it eighty percent for your physical? Oh, people? I didn't. I didn't. Does you that turn? level up? No, my. No. No, that does. I'm sixty-five, so I failed oh. my. Like, oh, that's okay. Failed. And he goes, "Why would you want to call me Emily? My name's Omar." Because I'm trying to play pretend. You're the princess. What do you want your name to be? Omar. <laughs> <laughs> Is Omar a lady's name too? I don't know. Okay. Omar, look at this. It is our salvation. What do you mean salvation? He says. She she grins at him. It'll save us, Omar. She like (laughs) she takes her hand and delicately Uh slides it along his face. (laughs) (laughs) He like flinches back a little bit. He says, Is there anyone else awake right now? I'm sorry I was caught in here. Are you angry? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't think I'm angry. Are you tired? I get so bored when everyone else is asleep. Oh, yeah. I... Oh, who are you? <laughs> she looks at him. <laughs> oh, wait, you're I... Omar. Never mind. I'm Omar. <laughs> who let you on the ship? Or well, the behemoth? Well, you, I could have swore I saw you when I... I the, 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 uh, the, I don't know, the, the, um, what are they called here? Uh... Elves, 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 elf, elf guy. Is he the girly looking one? Because that's probably L you're thinking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I that's don't know, I guess. That's yeah. L. He's not as girly looking as you. Not oh. as girly looking as that blonde woman. But, yeah, I guess he's got long hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he, uh, there's something wrong with my stomach. My, um. Oh, she starts looking at his stomach. Is. Yeah, he says there's a, a bandage over uh, the left side of of his stomach, he kind of lifts his shirt a little bit. Yeah, my my appendix, my appendix was 
was wrong, he says, and then he fixed it. <laughs> what every teenager wishes they had. Your porn dicks. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor thing. I'm so sorry. If you don't feel good enough to play pretend, we can do something easier. Like we could color. We could. We could. Um. We could color. Wait, you're not angry. I would not be angry. You. We let it? you on the ship, didn't we? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, I'll color a little bit, I guess. I don't know okay. what that means, but I'll do it. No, I'll I show guess. you. It's super easy. So come right. with me. Okay. She'll, she'll grab along. his hand and okay. lead him along, along into the living okay. room. Okay. Pull out a couple pieces of paper and the coloring okay. tools that have been very worn down that Tom gave her. Okay. And, uh, and be like, now, what is your favorite thing in the world? Hmm. That's a good question, he says. Hmm. You go first. Okay. My favorite thing in the world uh -huh. is Sasha. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, oh I thought. Dog. Oh, you have one? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oxygen. Okay. Oxygen? Mm hmm. Okay. Oxygen. Oh, That's two. a good one. That is yeah. a good one. Um, That's important. Okay, so this is, she like, she stands up and she's getting really serious now. Oh, okay. Now I want you to visualize. <laughs> oxygen? <laughs> I want you to visualize oxygen. And I want uh, you to create the prettiest picture we can put on the fridge. Uh, okay. All I right. would recommend using these colors. And she pushes over a few. <laughs> okay, suggested. what colors are they? They're blue, pink, and red. Okay, well, he'll take the blue one. Yeah, and the red one, not the pink She one. nods after, she looks at him when he takes the blue, kind of shaking her head, and he takes the red and she nods. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys wake up in the morning, you see Mila and Omar at the kitchen table coloring quite, quite uh, happily. And uh, Omar has drawn a very interesting picture. Actually, because <laughs> Omar can't draw and I can't draw, I'm going to draw what Omar drew. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so perfect. Oh, joy. Oh, man. It's going to be so perfect. Okay. And a blank canvas. <laughs> so I got, yeah, blank canvas. Yeah, that's canvas. the first thing I thought when it was like oxygen. Right I'm like, nothing. <laughs> oh, he, he's figured it out. So he's gonna draw there. Yeah. yeah, there we go. It's not bad. There's the red. In there, okay. I'll use the red. I'll use the red. Mm. He's like, okay, I'll, I'll take the pink now. I guess. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Mila's drawing hearts around it. <laughs> She's kind of leaning over, smiling. <laughs> he goes, yeah. Well, it doesn't create hearts, but it makes that oxygen. There you go. I think it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Thanks, he says. And he looks over to the rest of you who have kind of assembled this way. And you see him, like, sheepishly uh, show his picture to you guys. And he goes, oh, s sorry, I was kind of restless last night. And I ran into... Oh, what was your name? Me? Yeah, yeah, you. Oh, my name's Mila. I was running into Mila here, and we decided to draw some pictures. Yeah, he was looking at a rocket ship. He didn't want to play pretend, though, because his appendorks hurt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like my was porn dicks. A porn dicks? <laughs> was it a porn dicks? Yeah, it was a porn dicks. That's oh, that's right, dicks. right? My porn yeah, dicks. Yeah, you're a porn dicks. <laughs> Tom is going to be rubbing his eyebrow. forehead. <laughs> is the porn dicks really hurt? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, thanks. Thanks for, for reminding me. Um, That spaceship that you got there uh i don't mean to pry but how did you where did you find it 
I could give you the coordinates, but it's kind of a trip. No, like, how did you find it? He wants oh. the story, Patrick. Patrick, it it was in okay. that um. No, that, Patrick's that. gonna slide over a chair and sit all cool like Poor backwards. Poor Tom's just like <laughs> holding up one finger, like, oh, I remember. And then Patrick just slides a chair. Down. Yeah. Here's the story. <laughs> Womp womp. <laughs> right, go ahead. We were there in enemy territory. <laughs> okay. While we were there, we decided to look for some things in a yard full of metal and materials. We okay. dove in. <laughs> okay. He says. He's, he's paying attention. <laughs> Al's eyebrows have not gone down yet. <laughs> uh huh. We're doing a competition there to see who actually would actually come out with the best thing. Okay. I was getting close at the end. I was at the end of my adventure. And then an avalanche started coming at me. I swerved to the left. I swerved to the right. I nearly dodged it. <laughs> An asteroid? It was actually a pile of of metal cascading down. Oh. It's an asteroid. After I came to my senses, there it was. In the sunlight, it, it's, it's a spaceship. <laughs> Al leans over quietly oh. to Tom. Do you remember anything about an avalanche? Uh... Actually, yeah, I think it was it was crap metal. Huh. Oh, Kayla is snickering at the asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, Omar looks over to you. And he scrunches up his nose and he goes, "You don't know what an asteroid is?" An asteroid. <laughs> you said not a word. And he kind of shakes his head and he looks back over toward to, to, towards Tom and Al and Patrick and he goes, "So it was in a big heap of metal." Yeah, essentially. It was in like yeah, a junkyard. Yeah. Oh, oh, junkyard? Like scrap and stuff like that? It's actually a really great place where people throw away useful things. Uh, I, I don't get it, but it's great for me. I'll... Wait, no, 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 no. I was looking at that. You got... Uh, it's been it's been worked on. It wasn't yeah. junk. It, the wiring has been replaced. Uh, some of the, the elder hall has been clearly fixed up. Who did that? Al would actually put his um, hands Tom on will... Patrick's shoulders and say that would be our Patrick. Yeah. Uh, as well. So, uh, some with uh, our uh, robot friend recently. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I fixed up most of the outside. I'm still uh, trying to figure out how the inners mostly work, but I got what I could done uh, with what I know. Whoa. Whoa. She, you did that? He asks, like earnestly, over to Patrick. Uh, I, I wouldn't, I didn't say I, I, I built it, but I definitely fixed it up. Shit, and you weren't confused at all. Um, well, I did have some help from uh, a nice gentleman who could. I'm not sure how it works, but if he touches a, um, a machine, he can kind of know its history and. Oh yeah, I got that. He says, "Oh, yeah, it's, it's a part of my muta Um, <clears throat> uh, it's you know, it's it's what you get sometimes." Al's eyebrows raise. I up wish I had further. anything. <laughs> Goes, hey, um, listen, I I know you already helped me with my porn decks and everything, but um, I think there's someone you guys should meet. Are you up for um, going back to to, you know, where I came from? You hear I don't think Al's we're breath. doing anything in particular. You hear under Al's breath, appendix. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? He says? Nothing. What? <laughs> you want a nap? No. Who do you think we should meet? Um, well, she's, um, I guess you could say she's like my boss. We have uh, a place nearby. Um, 
normally we like to kind of keep things pretty pretty secret, but you guys help me out with this, and and I mean that spaceship. She'll really want to know. Uh, listen for security reasons, I I really can't say much else. Uh, but I don't think it'll hurt. I I don't think they'll they'll be upset. You know, I'll vote for you. They listen to me most of the time. Um, they just um. I, why don't you just come with? I'll lead you there. Um, and if you don't like it, you can leave. It's no problem. We won't be upset. Um, this might sound weird, but mm -hmm. could you tell us the direction? Uh, the general direction? The general direction? Uh, Northeast-ish. Okay. Um, out, out of character, that's not going towards coalition mm, territory? No. no okay. It's not even going towards the magic zone. Yeah. Then that's fine by me. But it's okay. going towards the space zone. Um, mm -hmm. Space. That's out of character. Al would though. be a little <laughs> hesitant, but um, okay. he'd look to the others. Uh, I want to go. <laughs> I, I don't see why not. If it's about the spaceship, I, I would love to. Yeah, yeah, it's about the spaceship for sure, he says. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind at least having a chat. Yeah, great. Why not? Great, great. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, well, um, I'm a little tender right now, but I'll, I'll tell you the general direction. And when I feel a little bit better, when I can get by, back on my hover cycle, I'll lead you right. I'll lead you right to there if that works for you. Sounds good to me. Okay. All right. All right. Looking Great! Like wow. Now it would be like. So, what did you draw? Oh, she wanted me to draw oxygen, so that's how we get oxygen. He says. What is that? Some sort of laser? What? Yeah, of course. He says, "You." Oh yeah. Um. Oh um, shit! I guess this isn't saying too much, but yeah, you gotta you gotta crack crack the ice, right? Remoleculeize the H two O, so it becomes oxygen. So you take out the H, get the O two, and then air. Boom! You can breathe. Um, it's great. Hang on a second. Let me see if I out have of that. ice. Yeah, um, of I have basic yeah. chemistry, so I would have kind of understood that somewhat, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's, um, yeah. He's, he's a uh, but you don't. Like, you don't, like, not just any laser can do that. Right. That's really advanced technology. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, what he's talking about is theoretical. Yeah. And they've like, never actually seen it done. And Al would sit there and go, right. So, what's with the hey, heart? Hey, GM. Thing? Hey, what's up? Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'll answer that in a moment. What's up, uh, Patrick? May I roll mm -hmm. laser? <laughs> 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 Yes, you may roll. What? Laser. <laughs> Solve this problem with laser. I failed oh. by seven. Oh, okay, mm. that's not not too much. Um, you do know, uh, you don't know at all what kind of frequency he's talking about, but you once again theoretical laser mm. <laughs> could do this, but you do not know any actual application that could crack ice and remolecular remolecularize H2O into oxygen and hydrogen. Right. But the theory's there for sure. And he goes, anyways, and uh, Omar says, oh no, I didn't do that. Mila did that. She likes drawing hearts. She was drawing pictures of a dog before. Oh. How old is she? He says, "How old are you?" He looks over to Mila. Um, hang on, I got this. She starts counting on her fingers. Hang on, bear. <laughs> yes, Nora. Be no, Mila, bear. How old oh, am I? That's okay. How old am I? You are thirty-six. I am thirty-six. Oh, you you don't. Hmm. And he pauses for a moment, and he doesn't say anything for a moment. He goes, "No, it's it's okay." 
Mm. And you see him mouth over to Tom. Is she okay? <laughs> uh, Tom's going to nod. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, sorry, do you have any other questions for Omar? Uh, Al would... You know, I think Al would just assume it's just a drawing. He'd probably think, like, yeah, I don't know of anything that can break apart molecules besides, like, nuclear bombs, but, eh, it's a drawing. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, no. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh... (laughs) I love all the hearts. (laughs) Just the hearts. They're beautiful. Anyways, they're beautiful. All right, we'll put that picture away. So... I mean, we, oh God, I'm going to move us back down to the main, uh, actually I'll move us back to the map. So Omar, it takes about two days or so. We're going to compress about two days as uh, the first day he directs you inside the behemoth. And then the, the day after he's able to get on the hover cycle. On your way to this destination, which Omar is still, he only, only speaks about it in general terms. Uh, you do know when he talks about it, it, it's obviously a group of people. It's some sort of place, right? Like a structure or an organization or a town, perhaps. And he always refers to her or she, uh, his boss, who's his superior, head officer, things like that, right? But um, you start going more eastwardly than northwardly. So you hit about maybe, well, we'll say, I'll draw this in yellow. You hit about here. When um, you start to skirt across an old town. Um, and when I say old town, I mean not that, it's not pre riffs. But it's more similar to Woodbridge. Patrick, you would know from your anthropology and archaeology backgrounds. This town has, obviously, it's a ghost town, right? It was probably a small village of probably approximately, you'd probably guess between 400 and 700 individuals, all right? Mostly made with clay brick from the area with uh, this uh, additional... Uh, wood here and there. Uh, there seemed to have been some sort of main town area with a bunch of small houses all scattered amongst it. The deterioration seems to be a combination of both time and uh, time and well, weapons, for lack of a better word. Uh, through the um, clear spring day, you can see that very, very old remains of laser fire, weapon fire, a few old puck like craters made from explosions. But the town itself is very, very dead. Omar... Um, c- lets you know on the radio that uh, this place has been abandoned for as long as he's been around the area. Nothing to worry about. He just likes to skirt around the edge of the town because no one tends to disturb this site. And he says, well, we're only about a day or so away. Not a problem. Uh, Although he gets halfway around skirting around the size of this town, And you see him kind of disappear out of sight for just a moment. He's behind a few buildings, all right? And uh, as you go to meet him, you see him stop, and he's staring up ahead of him. And he goes, "Uh, guys, are you seeing the same thing that I'm seeing here? And silhouetted across uh, the hill, around, uh, stooped around, Uh, fragmented uh, bits of this old abandoned town, you see a silhouette. A silhouette of, appears to be some sort of horse. It's about, 
I don't know, maybe eight feet tall or so. Uh, and uh, the strange thing about this silhouette is that there is seems to be a horn sticking from it. So. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting messages of the wazoo all in caps lock. I'm sorry. Anywho, um, <laughs> God damn I it, would Brianna. like Patrick, Patrick, <laughs> Patrick, I'd like you to roll me uh, monster and lore, please. Got it. Remember, I actually have this freaking button. I should use it. All right. Succeed by 19. Okay, remember when I made the joke back in the um, in the uh, Forgotten Temple about equating lizard mages to unicorns? How, like, in real life that would be, like, crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this is an actual unicorn, you're pretty sure? Uh, you're 99.9% .9 sure. You've just seen the silhouette of a, of a unicorn. Uh, it's approximately... I'm going to say a good, like, 800 feet away, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, as mentioned before, the way the sun is setting and its position, you only really just see a very dark silhouette of the, of the creature itself. Um, and what you know about unicorns, of course, is that they are a uh, mythical creature believed to be from some other place, some other world, all right? You've heard stories about it in ancient mythology uh, of old, you know, tales of the of the old world, right? Um, but they are uh, no one's really ever seen them. All that you know about unicorns is just from stories that you've read, right? How they are symbols of purity, how they tend to bond with maidens how they are gentle and kind creatures uh, ma filled with magic, right? Almost magical creatures of their own, similar to dragons, right? Um, what else would you know about unicorns? Um, they're easily scared and spooked, right? And they tend to be quite shy as well, all right? So before I continue going on describing this scene, uh, is there anything you guys would like to do or react to? <laughs> I know what Patrick's doing. <laughs> it's a horse. Mila's just staring, but I want to ride it. <laughs> she gets really excited. <laughs> Patrick is, is going to put a firm hand on her shoulder <laughs> while slowly raising up with his other hand from, from his bag. His camera. <laughs> okay. All right. I get a picture of me riding it. <laughs> One second, Mila. <laughs> and he's going to rise it up. He's going to gosh darn try to take a picture of this. <laughs> okay. Roll me photography at a penalty of minus 20. So make it harder by 20, please. Because you don't get this isn't good light. It's just a silhouette, right? Yeah. And there's a bunch of things in the way, and you're in the behemoth, so you got, you know, window glare and all this other stuff. Yes! Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have gotten, regardless of all the um, difficulties I just described, you're able to time a perfect shot in order to get a very, very nice picturesque later on when you develop it. It's, it's, You've managed to frame the unicorn in between the rubble, the quiet rubble. The lighting is just perfect. It's very, very picturesque. Something that you would see on a postcard, right? Mm -hmm. Prime picture. Very prime picture. Okay, Mila. You, you want to go talk to it? <laughs> yes, I do. All right. Mila's going to throw on her armor and scurry out. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? Gonna follow Mila? Uh, Patrick is, but probably not with such haste. And uh, Patrick will probably note, uh, just be kind to it. Of course. I am kind. Al will probably stay in the cockpit with uh, Omar since Omar's not going to be moving anymore. Well, he's not in the cockpit anymore. He's, oh. No, no, he's, he's in his hover, hover cycle now. He was leading oh. you. 
On the oh, second day, oh, he was oh. feeling better enough, remember? That's right. Okay. Uh, then actually, yeah, Al would throw on the uh, Titan armor. Okay. Tom? Tom, are you muted? Right. Tom, do you hate unicorns? Is that what's going on? He hates. I'm sorry. He, 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 watched, he once watched the last unicorn and he said, never again. <laughs> I, I, I said this like four times already. Yeah, I'm going. Sorry. <laughs> my sorry. Bad. No, sorry. no, no. I muted what myself. That was me? my bad. Oh, okay, good. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Am I really stroking out? Okay, so everyone's going to, everyone's getting off the behemoth, landing the behemoth, getting off to investigate a little bit curious. Don't want to scare this, this beautiful creature away, right? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. why we let Mila <laughs> take lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, as you, as you, uh, Dispatch from the behemoth, Omar himself gets off the hover cycle, and he goes, holy sh... That, that horse has a horn on it, he says. <laughs> and you make your way towards this unicorn. And the unicorn makes its way towards you. And you get probably around 200 feet or so, where you start to get a more clearer picture. The, the sun is no longer silhouetting the unicorn itself, and you're able to get a much clearer picture. Uh, the unicorn is has a very off-white, almost um, like a dirty, pearly, pearl type of color. All right, mm -hmm. and uh, it has a few unusual features. The first is that it seems to have a scrap of cloth around its neck. This bright, dirty piece of cloth that's almost well, very similar to a scarf in a way. All right. It seems to have an eye patch, and bridled along the side of it is a harness. It seems to be a custom harness made of some sort of leather or similar material. And on the harness itself, you could swear you can see there's a bunch of weapons, like shotguns, grenades, rifles, the whole thing. And soon... Once again, 200 feet in the air, its horn begins to glow pink. And the weapons on the side of it start to like hover, be detached from its harness, and hover to the side of it. Grenades floating by its head, and its gun is floating, you know, left and right to its flank, pointed towards you. And you hear it say, Stop right there. The fuck are you? Hello! <laughs> I just want to point ha! out, Al has spent yeah. years in the military training himself to handle any situation. He's kind of stalled right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I was hoping I could ride you! You've got to be fucking kidding me. Um, can I at least get a picture with you? You're kind of famous. What the fuck do you know about me, huh, human? Have you uh, seen the shit I've seen? Um, no, but I mean, you're, you're a unibron, right? No. Oh, you're... Are you a horse? Wait, you can talk! Mila just, like, realized <laughs> <laughs> By all the goddamn gods above. Is she the only one that's going to be speaking to me? Al um, opens his mouth. Nothing <laughs> comes out. <laughs> I'll take that as a fucking yes. All right. Well... You might not know what the hell I am, but do you know what the hell Splagorth are? Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Then yes. maybe you can be useful. Have you seen any recently? Uh, well, not Splagorth themselves, but certainly some of their servants. Where and when? <laughs> I had to go like, Oh, and he's gonna like 
Um, he's going to start like um, writing down a piece of paper and stop and go, can you read English? And if unicorns could look displeased, <laughs> this one looks the most displeased as he lowers his eyes a little bit and he says, Oh my god, <laughs> sorry, just a second. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get in character <laughs> for, a, for this guy. I don't know if I should throw a grenade at you or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh but kind of, I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, he says, Oh my god. Thirteen years, he says. Thirteen fucking years. I've clearly tried to avoid your kind. And the one time I take a chance on hoping to get some fucking intel, I come across you goddamn jokers. Yeah. Is staring can... at him and slowly writing down the coordinates while he's talking. <laughs> what the fuck are you writing down, pencil oh, neck? The coordinates and date of the location. All right, give it here, he says. And once again, uh, he his horn <laughs> glows pink once more, and his weapons return to his bridle. And the note is plucked from you, Invisibly, as it floats over to the unicorn, and goes, shit, this data's fucking months old. That's the last time you saw them? We yeah. don't actively hunt them. Shit. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't, he says, and he stomps a hoof in front of him. Well, His if you... Flare. If you are hunting... Uh, no, I'm not hunting them. They hunt me. I kill them. I fucking survive. Oh. Okay. Um, maybe you'll have some joy from uh, this information. The time we did encounter the slaver, it was dispatched. Dispatched? Yeah. yeah. We killed it. Oh, there we go. Someone who has the balls to say actual words. Yeah, you killed it, right? Good. Yeah. Well, that means you're not completely useless. <clears throat> but before I decide that completely, any of you got a smoke? I don't smoke. No. Um, I do have a lighter. I have a light, too. <laughs> Can I pet you yet? Neil is staring. <laughs> Looks at you unamusedly. He says, tell you what. You find me a cigar, a smoke, a cigarette, anything like that. The only part of your stupid customs that I can tolerate. I'll give you three pats. She runs uh off. Julie. <laughs> <Too late. laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, actually, I'm going to say that Lee, Bear, Alicia, even August, uh, they're all standing stupefied, just scarce 20 feet away from you, you, you guys. Uh, they're not really contributing because they're trying to figure this out. So, Mila, you, you go to Lee, and he looks at you blankly, and he goes, holy shit, that is one fucked up unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Do you have a cigarette? Yeah. yeah. God, yeah. I, I got a couple left. I haven't smoked through all of them just yet. Could I have one pretty please? Roll me D100. Uh, do I get any bonuses for puppy dog eyes? Plus <laughs> <laughs> 5%. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. He doesn't forget. No. Okay, because he hasn't forgotten you as Nora beating the shit out of him. <laughs> so... He goes. Yeah, that's hard to forget. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
And he hands you two cigarettes. Thank you, Lee. She'll give him a kiss on the cheek and then run back. Okay, he'll scratch his, he'll scratch his cheek a little bit and give a bit of a bashful mutter. Uh, yeah, okay, nothing. Nothing to it. <laughs> As he come back with the cigarettes. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love this fucking character. <laughs> <laughs> so he come on back with the cigarettes and he goes shit too hmm alright give him here he says come on up <laughs> okay Mila like runs over uh-huh. and like stares I can come up no can come- you can stay right there, he says. I can go up on you. And he <laughs> his, his horn glows grows pink again. Glows pink again. I want you to say versus magic me. <laughs> oh, how do I do that? It's... Roll D one hundred. Oh, okay. Sorry, D, sorry. Roll a D twenty. Okay. And then uh, on your character sheet. On the second side, uh, on, on the second page on the right, it has a bunch of saving throws. Yes. So there's spell magic. And I think yours is probably, it says 12, right? Uh, spell magic. Yep, yeah, 12. 12. All right. Do you have anything with the plus next to it? Like a plus two? Plus two, or, yeah. A yeah, plus two. So roll 1d20 plus two. If you get 12 or higher, you save. Ah, oh, no. Mila can't speak anymore. <laughs> you <laughs> on mute. <laughs> Really caring, she she yeah. gives three good pats. Okay, and uh, also the cigarettes are lifted from your uh, from your hand, uh, floating away from your hand, and both of them stick to the side of his mouth. And he goes, "Okay, y'all had lights. Do you mind, uh, Patrick? Do you mind if I take care of this? Go for it. Uh, Tom will snap his fingers and light them." Okay. He inhales. Smoke comes out of his nostrils. He looks over to Mila. He's grinning. He, his horn glows pink again. You can once again speak. He goes... I love you. <laughs> you. You love me? I love you. Kid, you don't know what love is. I Love. don't, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me a D100. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> he stands there, smoking his cigarettes, just staring at you with his one eye. For what seems to be a long time. You getting this close, Mila, you actually notice there's a scar underneath of his good eye as well. And he says, of all the days to come across fucking humans. Get up, he says. <gasps> Wait, do you mean get On up? On me. <laughs> okay, so she she hops aboard. <laughs> We're only D one hundred. Oh boy! Ah! Yeah, get on, no problem. Uh, and he says, "Mind the fucking guns." I will. So as he around. as he trots around you, he speaks. Well, tell me what other intel you got. Tell me what else you've seen. While I entertain your fucking. Whatever the fuck she is. <laughs> Grown up man, woman, child. Um, if it's specifically about Spilgorth, you probably already know majority of their, uh, what they look like and things like that. So I don't think that intel would be necessary. Um, other oh. positions... Even longer before that, we've seen a few patrols. Patrols of what? Uh, slavers. 
Okay. Numbers? Um, sparse in, in the, this area, and he's going to give a broad coordinates. Okay. You should also know that, um, the one we encountered, the slaver was killed, but there were two uh, bodyguards, I guess, with him in power armor. They, we agreed to part ways. Yeah. He spits out the butt of his cigarettes and he turns his head a little bit and he goes to me and he goes, okay, ride's over. Okay, thank you very much. Did I get a name? I can't remember. Do you have a name? What's your name? I don't you couldn't pronounce my actual name, so I guess you could just call me Leon. Thank you so much, Leon. You are very nice. And Leon says, you left a couple Katani alive? Jesus, for a second I thought you were somewhat competent. Had a good head on your shoulders, knew how to kill fucking Splagorth, and you left a couple alive. Jeez. They fucking were humans. powerful. We had people to protect. It was the best way to keep everyone alive. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm sure it was some human's good intentions that down the line ended up me losing my good eye. Huh? Yeah. You know nothing. So let me give you a free bit of advice before I piss off. You see them again, you kill each and every single one of them because they're slaving, murderous, cruel scum. And if you and your stupid human hide were worth a fraction of what they hunt me for, you would feel the exact same way. Um, I'm going to uh, check if I can't tell what sort of weaponry he's having. Patrick's pretty much just been... Yeah, well, you're close enough. You notice uh, quite a few grenades, um, high explosive mega damage grenades, and two shotguns. One seems conventional. The other one seems very similar to that Triax pump rifle that Alicia uses. The other one is a high-powered uh, assault rifle, although it is of some strange and alien make. Nothing that you've seen before. It looks very advanced. Uh, so, what sort of ammo do you use against Splugorth and their minions? Is that what this is now? A fucking Splugorth killing lesson? If you want us to kill better, it would help to know what to equip ourselves with. <sighs> Fucking humans. Alright. Splagorth and their minions aren't anything special as far as ammunition goes. You just need something that's powerful, can hit hard. The Katani are technologically advanced. They have things that are light years before anything you humans can you could even create. The slavers themselves are a combination of magic and technology. And the Splagorth, oh, you don't want to meet one of them themselves. Huge alien intelligences that could squash you like a bug. What bullets you want to use against something like that is the biggest fucking bullet you can find. Missiles, high energy, and a whole lot of fucking luck. Numbers, maybe. But for you, little things, you killed one Slagor slaver. Count your stars that you're very lucky. You come across another one, you run. You couldn't handle it. 
Al will uh, say, It's clear that you're not from this area. No shit. So why are you here, if you don't mind me asking? I do mind you asking. Because if a Splagorth finds you and tortures you, or probes inside your mind, the less you know, the better. Let's just say I'm surviving, by whatever means I can, and leave it at that. Do you want to come to space with us? She opens her arms and does jazz hands. He ignores you. <laughs> <laughs> she, she continues to do it, smiling. Well, consider this your lucky day. You got to see a magical fucking unicorn, and he gave you some decent advice. Thanks for the smokes. See ya. If you need any more help. <laughs> help? Nah, I don't think you could provide any more help. He says he turns a little bit towards you, and he starts to strut away. Uh, more towards into the wreckage, but he doesn't seem to be speeding away or anything like that. Um, he is uh, just kind of leisurely. It's just a leisurely gait of him just weaving back throughout the wreckage. You're still within earshot of him if you want to say anything else. I miss you. Uh, <laughs> you can kind of hear him give that frustrated groan. Al just kind of like after he goes, he's that. He. That was not what I expected. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I think you he liked about? me because I was a maiden. She said that loudly, so she can probably still hear it. <laughs> you hear him go, maiden. Ha, yeah, right. <laughs> See? I'm right. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a maiden. <laughs> uh, Al would look to everyone and say, well... Um, that was an experience. Anything else we need to do here before we move on? Uh, I don't think so. I'm... You seem pretty normal. I don't know what you're talking about, Al. It was beautiful. I'll never meet anyone else like that again. Lee, Lee will say, no, that's, that's not normal, he says. That... I'm not that... normal, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> he says, that is something you and I can completely agree on. I knew you would agree with me, Lee. <laughs> she smiles at him. <laughs> so, with that, uh, Omar gets unstupefied for a moment, and he continues to lead you, lead you on to, to their direction. And, uh... <clears throat> The, the landscape changes slightly from this kind of forested area to a, a scrubland, right? Not quite swampy, but um, very, very nasty low hedges, you know? Uh, well, a scrubland, for lack of a better word, right? And at far, far across uh, the scrubland itself, uh, you travel for another about half a day. In nothing but this scrub. And you can see all all around you, not a problem. And you can see quite up ahead, you're heading towards a cliff of one of the of the Appalachian Mountains themselves. Right? And he seems to be guiding you directly towards this cliff, but it's just a big rocky outcropping. There's nothing nearby. And he keeps assuring you that you're you know, we're getting close, we're getting close, we're getting close. And um, halfway through the day. He stops for a moment. He goes, okay, well, um, why, I think you should just park your uh, behemoth here for a moment. I, uh, I got to scout out ahead. Uh, not scout out ahead. I, I got I to gotta connect with my people first. Let them know who you are. 
and uh, I'll probably be back tomorrow or the next day, okay? Are you all right hey, waiting out here? All right. Yes, but just to be safe, come from that direction. And he'll and he'll say, which direction are you headed? Uh, he points directly north. He'll say, uh, okay, Al will say, come from yeah, that direction and make sure we see you well in advance. We wouldn't want... Yeah. Well, we've been ambushed before. Not by you. Gotcha. I'm just saying that they're, we want to make sure it's you coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, um, I'll, I'll, I'll be on my hover cycle, so... Um, we'll go from there. Um, so... <clears throat> I'm tempted... Because I got a couple more scenes here, but I don't know if I want to delve into it right this very second. I don't want to leave you guys in suspense as to where Omar is leading you, right? But, hmm, I'm pondering just as a DM. Is there anything in character you guys wanted to do or discuss amongst yourselves? Uh, I would just say that Al thinks something about this is kind of suspicious, so he'd probably... Uh... Uh, be wearing power armor and uh, keep the behemoth ready to move at all times. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm also getting that feeling. It's kind. Of, it's a little bit fishy, but stay here know. while I go get my friends. I trust him implicitly. I don't know <laughs> what you guys are talking about. Yeah. High five, Patrick. <laughs> oh, <high> five. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like those with read sensory equipment roll me D100 please okay is it just you two? I think so Okay, what do you succeed by, Patrick, or fail by? Oh, there we go. I I hit it on the nose. Okay, good. That's always fun. Okay. Uh, as you wait, um, you have a 50-mile radar, correct? So outside of your sight range, 10-plus miles away, you see from time to time... Fast moving, um, fast moving blips. All right. Now it's about, I would say it's a solid 15 miles or so before you, you're in about 50 miles of scrubland, right? Actually, let me draw this again for you. Just, I gotta, for some reason, I'm not doing really well on my descriptions today, guys. So uh, I kind of have to just draw things out to let you know what's going on. All right. So let's say this is the behemoth right here in the center, right? And there we go. Great thing, right? And this dark green is going to be like the scrubland that you're in, all right? Wait, are you in my? I was gonna say no. You're um, not. You're not even. You're not even where I am. It's Patrick's so the scrubland. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you're the scrubland. Scrub lord. Right. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> it sees what? you. It sees you. And you, where are you looking at? What? You 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 took us to where I drew the old picture of the guy peeking from the window. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't delete Good. that Thank slide you. yet. It's wonderful. All right. See, there we go. So, um, behemoths in the center. That great, right? That green box is the scrubland, right? We'll use brighter green. So, this is like a bit of a more forested area. And this is the, the cliffs that he is, uh, that Omar went off to. All right. The scrubland continues on for quite a ways east and west but to the south there's that crops of trees or it's more um, deciduous trees where you where you came from right and that's behind you green all right so anyways the point is is that this is about 15 miles back right 
This is like a good 30 miles, right? And this is, goodness knows, you're guessing like a good 30 miles away, right? So your radar, I got to find myself a shape that's a circle somehow. How do you draw circles in this? I think it's alt or something. Might be shift. It is alt. So your visual range is only that, okay? So I'm going to put little blips that you, you, you notice from time to time over the hours, right? This isn't all at once, right? And this is not something that ever reaches your visual contact just yet, all right? But it's, it's, a, it's important to note. So I'll just put a little red dot. So one flies down south, heading this way. Another one is here, kind of flying this way, there. Another dot is, oh God, drawing Inferno, you're the worst at it. There, and it's going north and south. So those three blips happen throughout the first day or so, okay? And I would like, Tom, Alan, Patrick again, because I think Mila will be distracted by being Mila. Yep. I'd like y'all to roll me a D100 one more time. Just a straight D100? Straight D100. Okay. Ah, uh, Tom. You notice it first. It's just outside your visual range. You only see it for a split second before it starts, before it zooms down, heads south towards that southern crops of trees, a good 20 or so miles away. Mm -hmm. But you can't forget what Coalition Samus power armor looks like. Oh, fantastic. I'll, I'll relay that to the rest of the guys. Oh, joy. Um... <clears throat> Al's going to say, does, does it look like they've seen us? Or at least if they have, they're not approaching us yet. Yeah. Do we sit here and wait? Um, we can at least maybe try and find some place a little less in the open. That is true. But, um... What's his face said to for us to wait right here? Yeah, it's probably going to be another... Well, he says he'll be back. He said he'll be a couple days tops, right? He left maybe about 18 hours ago. Yeah, we can always... Al shakes his head. Look... I'd, I'd love to see what this guy's talking about, it, it, but we can't just sit here and, and wait to be found by some sort of coalition patrol. We have to find a way to hide this behemoth. I don't even know if that's coalition. It was Honestly, Black I Samson, mean, but it was too far away for you. You just got a glimpse of it. It was too far away yeah. to see any sort of official insignia. So you're right. You don't know for sure if it's coalition. Yeah, we, we don't know for sure if it's coalition. I mean, we're nowhere near the magic zone. We're nowhere near coalition territory. But we so, did I just mean, help a coalition transport, not six days that direction. Yeah. I agree. We don't know. It's just not safe to assume it's not the coalition. Yeah. What do you think we should do? Honestly, if we want to avoid them and still meet our friend, why don't we park the behemoth somewhere safe and wait out here in an ATV? Much harder to get detected by a radar then. Yeah. True, I guess. Hmm? What, what'd you say? Hey, Where, hey, hey, how... What's up north that would be coalition? Um, free Quebec. That's pretty far up north, though. 
It's a good 200 miles away. Oh, at this point, yeah, they, they have an alliance, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's not they have an alliance. They are a coalition state. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. They haven't... Uh, yes, so they are a coalition state, but that is hundreds of miles to the north. And they seem... 200 miles to the north. Most all of them seem to be moving south. What's south, coalition? Uh, nothing. Nothing. South, south is where it used to be, Florida. Um, where it used to be Texas is the coalition state of Lone Star, but that's like southwest, yeah. really far southwest. And, and, uh, it's safe to say, like, Al may have heard of Lone Star, but it's so far away that... Uh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, yeah. He, he would let him know. I mean, there's Lone Star to the south, but I mean, that's incredibly far away. Much farther than would be sending patrols. One thing's bothering me, the, they didn't even, the person I was talking to didn't even know where they were or why they were there. Maybe it was just shock, but that might have been something else. Well, it wouldn't be unheard of for the Coalition to hide their orders from the troops. But I agree, that is strange. Usually, if you're that far away from Coalition territory, you'd have some idea why you're there, even if it's a fake idea. What's with so many trees? What's, what's, uh, what's magical south from here? Well, there's the magic <laughs> zone. The, yeah, yeah, the magic zone. And Al, Al would kind of say... The magic federation. Yeah, Al would say, well, <laughs> there's the magic zone, and if ever there was an enemy of the Coalition, that would certainly be them. But they're not sending... powerful enough to take on the Federation of Magic head-on. They might be sending troops down there. But why? Al, Al would shake his head and say, unlikely. If the Coalition mm. thought the... Well, then this is just... Sure. Was, go ahead, keep going. I was going to say, if the Coalition thought that they could take the Magic Federation, they would have done it a long time ago, unless something's changed. That's... The ship that or we it's saw... limited operations in the area. Sure, they're not going to have an all-out war with the Magic Federation, but the Coalition doesn't sit idly by. True. Okay, okay. Uh, but now, we'll just say Al would say that. Because Al, Al's thinking, like, right now of... Yeah. Um, so, lots of... It looks like it's it's strictly battle gear. It doesn't look like... We saw a warship and a. It that is, wouldn't be all for us. It is possible that the coalition is setting up or staging some sort of attack against the uh, the magic zone. I mean, it's possible they're feeling it out, trying something to see how it works. But see, here's the problem with that. Why not tell your soldiers? If it's something that simple, if you're just raiding the magic lands, why not tell your soldiers what you're doing? Are they running? Running from what? I wonder. And if they were running again, would you hide that from your own soldiers? Well, maybe you would, but what could what could cause the coalition to run? Something big. Now we'll think Either a way, it seems like their interests are not with us, but that's not saying much. You know, it's not... It is interesting that we run into a unicorn that hunts Blagorth the same time we run into a bunch of coalition units that are not where they're supposed to be. Do you think Leon's okay? <laughs> I I'm sure think Leon's fine. fine. You're right, he's kind of a badass. <laughs> um, Inferno? Mm -hmm. Now, as a player, I know that the GM... I mean, the, the, the GM... The GM has heard of the Slugorth. No, um... The, <laughs> yeah, I fucking have. The coalition, you have? I know the Coalition has heard of the Splagorth. Um, and, and, but would they... Would the Splagorth be something that someone like Al would have heard of or been told about in the Coalition? No. Okay. Nope. 
Nope. They're they 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 are lumped in with alien invaders, but you would not uh, remember you were espionage, mm-hmm. right? That's what you I don't, was thinking. Don't yeah. blend in with them. All right, yeah. so no. <laughs> I hope to God they don't try and send me to blend in with those. Um, Al would just kind of shrug and say, it is curious, and you have a good point. And they certainly don't seem to be looking for anything in particular, at least... I'm going to try to get to the radio, see if I can and it, figure out a few things. And in and, and front of it is true, like, it appears that, like, they've all been moving straight south. We haven't seen any circling or going back north or anything like that yet. No, no, they all seem. Yep, yeah, they all seem to be going south, south, east-ish. It's hard to get. I, I mean, you've only seen four contacts, right? But if you had in that pattern, yeah, it's more. Well, once again, it was yeah that way, that way, that way, and that way. So yeah, mostly south. One was going east though. Al, Al talks to Patrick and says, see what you can find. Uh, honestly, I'm going to try and find a place slightly more... Okay, well, in front of... We're in a marshland, so there, there's nothing within a few miles that's... Within ten miles? Yeah. Um, okay, then, then how about this? If we were to lower the behemoth, that would at least make its signature smaller harder to pick up and in theory yeah and and actually because because you are uh, much more knowledgeable about radar now um (laughs) if if we lower ourselves and Uh they're using radar from the sky is it conceivable Uh if we're not moving we could just be mistaken for a land feature if they're not in visual range that's feasible yeah I can't guarantee you right. because that would be, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah. that yeah. idea is definitely feasible. Yeah. And we could spend some time um maybe because it is marshlands, maybe taking some mud and painting the behemoth, quote unquote, with some mud to make it look kind of like a hill. Maybe possible i don't know if we'll be here long enough for that this is a big ship but yeah yeah how about this guys do you want to i'll i'll um i'll answer some more questions you know about the general area or anything like that uh but this might be a good time to kind of um stop end? this session yeah end the session <laughs> I can't come up with words today to end this session and it gives you guys some time to do some tactical planning because clearly there's no huge sense of urgency it's not like um, you know I'm saying you know more blips are coming your way immediately or anything like that but uh, so this will give you some time to think and uh, maybe you'll come up with something that you're all really happy with rather than feeling on the spot seems good to me (laughs) Okay. <laughs> we don't have to end. I mean, well, you can keep you can keep talking. What what else do you want to know about I mean, this area or the situation? Yeah, what's up? Um, I I have an idea, but I'm not mm-hmm. too sure if it'll actually work. Can okay. we can we use the orb to to move water, or is that only create water? Um, I believe you can control water to mm-hmm. a point. Um, but if you're talking about moving, like, mud around, that's not going to be able to do that. Yeah. All right. In addition, uh, let me show you what scrubland is compared to swampland. Yeah. Scrubland is this. Actually, this is a really good visual representation of where you guys are. Right, except imagine the city in the background is actually a cliff. Uh, riffs. Whoop! There you go. That's scrubland. Hmm. So there are yeah. some small bushes. Yeah, of course. Mm. That's actually around our area. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so there's really not much mud there. Yeah, that's. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I was getting it confused with like a marsh. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, so. honestly, I think... You're from an island community. I can get it. I get it. <laughs> I, I think, okay. Um, why don't we just find a patch of shrubs like those that you see in the background to hunker down next to so that... It, like if a radar picks us up they'll pick us up they'll pick up us and the other shrubs perhaps but that doesn't help the whole visual no it doesn't if they get close enough in this area i don't know what we could do that would yeah however they, that said they do not look like they're on patrol yeah i was going to say that said they don't look like they're on a patrol pattern and they'd have to get pretty close to see us yeah Plus, we're not even sure if that was even coalition. Right. I think, yeah, I think the best course of action would just be to uh, to hunker down, wait it out, and stay on guard. Yeah. I'm I'm definitely going to take myself, and uh, if uh, August is willing, um, mm-hmm. uh, help out with just trying to see any sort of um, radio signals and try to unscramble them if we can find a few. Ooh, I like that. That would okay. that would actually be very useful. We could we could use yeah. the two arms to take two shrubs and put them over our heads as disguise. <laughs> Don't that would draw more Sweet. attention if they saw us. <laughs> as, as Sweet. Disguise. <laughs> <laughs> like, Quote, I love how you just bookended a really good idea with a really silly idea. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's really useful. Or look, look. it's so fucking typical for riffs. <laughs> kind of. I was gonna yeah, say, you know, only 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 in riffs can you have smoking to... unicorn. So <laughs> I was about to say only in this yeah, session can you have a grisly accident and a <laughs> Eye-patching, gun-toting, cigar, okay. cigarette-smoking. <laughs> Love him so much. Oh, oh, and and field medics, where you just literally stab the guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know what the saddest part is? I had a laser scalpel in my pouch. I didn't even remember. Sure it. did. <laughs> I well, yeah. I was just thinking that. I'm like, well, all right. <laughs> well, all right. I mean, yeah. Sorry. Going right. for the knife. <laughs> well, I also um, had a skinning knife, so that could have. <laughs> <laughs> don't play him. All right, are we gonna wrap up this session? Yeah, we stop yeah, recording. I think-